Welcome back everyone and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium video. As the title implies, we're going to be doing a review on two updated Norscott models under the Diecast Masters brand. So, without further delay, let's get these things out and take a look at them. Okay, so the first one out of the box is a 1 to 32 scale model, as you can see. It's the Caterpillar 272C skid steer loader. Part of the Core Classic series. Good picture of it on the back loading a truck. And some specification details, as always. So that's that one. Next. It's in a white box. Is the Highline series collection. Now this model was again released by Norscott in 2015. It was one of the last models to be released by them. It was kind of nice to see this come back and stay in the uh, Caterpillar scale model lineup. I really liked it. I thought it was, you know, pretty unusual to have a machine like this in this scale. And once again, we fail on opening the correct side of the nylon paper. Here it is. As you can see, this is the Caterpillar 308 E2 CB CRSB Mini Hydraulic Excavator. Try and say that five times fast. Specification details on the back. Good picture of the machine working as well. But an even better picture of the machine on top of the tin. So while we have it, we'll take a quick look at this one first. Here it is, sitting nicely in there. So you have a hydraulic hammer right here. And it does say Caterpillar H65E. Very hard to make that out, but it does say it. You also have an auger right here. And last but certainly not least, you have the actual mini excavator itself. All right, so rubber tracks, they don't like to roll very well at all. They're a very, very stiff setup, and they were like that on the Norscott version as well. You can turn it 360 degrees. The blade at the front does raise and lower. No opening doors or anything like that. The cab is almost made of a... Well, actually it is. The cab, for the most part, is made of plastic. The lower portion is die-cast metal. The cat counterweight looks great, and there is a small exhaust on the left-hand side right here. Coming over to this side, you have a metal handrail here, and what I would presume would be the, your gas filler cap right here. These vents are actually etched into the casting. You can run your fingers over them. They're not a decal. They're not a sticker. It's actually casted in. As for the stick and boom, you have a little mount here as well, should you want to mount a thumb or other accessory to it. Functionality is pretty good. It does move left to right, if you want to stay in position, of course. Good range there. And as I showed you before, it does rotate 360 degrees. How dig will it deep? Or, excuse me. <laughs> How deep will it dig? About that far. So that's not bad. So if you have any, like, uh, suitable 1 to 34 scale or 1 to 32 scale trucks, dump trucks, this would definitely look great with that. 
to remove the work tools, it's very easy. Hold on to the quick coupler, take the first one out, pull down, and you're good to go. And they just kind of slide in that way. So it's definitely not a complicated way of doing it, and it's certainly not very realistic, but it works well enough anyway. Last thing I did want to show you is they have made an attempt. Hold on, let me see if I can get this a little brighter for you because it's difficult to pick up on camera. They've made an attempt to make some hydraulic line silver details right here. So that looks nice. So yeah, overall, if you're into the larger equipment, um, this one is definitely a, a good solid model to get. You get a lot of bang for your buck. You can get a ton of different posing opportunities with the different work tools as I showed you before. Uh, it's pretty, pretty high caliber model. The detailing inside is, well, it leaves a lot to be desired, but at least it has the operator using the controls. Um, again, I just wish that Diecast Masters would somehow make the operator removable by just like unscrewing something on the bottom making it really really easy but who knows we may see that soon so you got a mini excavator on your job site a lot of times you'll see it working with a skid steer loader so here is the 272c no this is not the classic construction models brass one in one to 48 scale this is in one to 32 scale just like the excavator just take him out and he also has a couple of work tools, which for God knows why are taped, but I've done a review on the North Scout ones anyway, so if you want to check out the attachments, they're basically the same thing. Here's your grapple right here, and your set of forks here. And I'll put, like I said at the top of the screen, I'll put a uh, video where you can see those attachments up close. So here's the 272 skid steer. Notable difference is it has high, it says high flow XPS two speed right underneath the 272 graphic. Very, very small, but it does look good. Stiff cylinders, but the boom will raise to about that height. Tipping angle is pretty decent. And you can achieve a very good cut angle. Tires roll well enough. And if we look inside, once again, you've got your operator operating the joysticks. Underneath, very, very plain, just screws in the Diecast Masters logo. But together, these models look pretty good. And if you're into the larger stuff, then they can be recommended for that. There we go. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. Be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.